Welcome to Buddy's Designs. Um, this is a recording for you for YouTube. Um, I in part one I was in the Imagimorphia um, upside down. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was using <coughs> oh dear. Excuse me. I was using some pink masking in fluid. And I've put a, a little layer, a thin layer, if you can see, shiny, just see where it is. And then I've used this pot of System 3 acrylic. I've watered it down very slightly. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Um, so I've just have to move the camera. I want to keep that fairly flat, so I just move the camera oops carefully that way. That should be in the right place. Thank you. Um and and as you can see, I don't want to leave it on overnight. I was going to leave it on overnight and record tomorrow, but I can't because it's um it may not come off. So um Just do it really carefully in the direction I put it on, and that's going to be really smooth. Then um, I'm trying to keep in the direction. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A quick slurp, as Floyd would say. And. Um, I've just realised that the sound won't be brilliant, so just give me two seconds. That should be better. So, um, and using the in the top of the lid because it oh well I've shaken it now. <coughs> it creates a film at the top when that dries eventually it becomes a little like a rubber and that's perfect for getting off so basically you're using a masking masking um, fluid dried rubber and that's the perfect thing to get off every scrap of paint um, I didn't realise just how difficult this was actually for my fingers, but um, and really, you want to work, let's say, in the direction. Now, some are going to be a little bit out. because I had to do it with a knife at the end because the paintbrush kind of gave up a bit. Now I think alternatively you can use um, you can oh, you could use a rubber, an ordinary eraser but um, I'm pretty sure that this is the best thing. Use. It's just a bit difficult to hold, that's all. Um, but I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything and everything is everything is gonna come out. That looks pretty cool as it is actually. I'm quite impressed with that. Um and again, it's a little bit difficult for me to <clears throat> um I don't know if I no, I better not try that. Um because it would probably I was gonna try an electric a little uh, eraser. 
often but I think it might be too much so I must have missed it there you can see. it's not going to be perfect because the paintbrush and it is a liquid and I think the paintbrush is kind of getting really really damaged with it because it's it didn't like it and that wasn't thick enough there so <clears throat> but I don't want to leave it overnight because it, it definitely wants to come off now If I had a big one of these, it would be better, but no, I haven't. Um, just have to keep going. <laughs> but it is a pretty cool effect. And it was a bit time consuming, I have to admit. And it did take a fair while, but <clears throat> it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just going to try a putty rubber. A putty rubber is exactly what it says it is. You warm it up. A putty rubber should do it. Yeah, but I, as I suspected, it's it's not as good. No, it's not as good. You need the real McCoy. See, you're supposed to, to rub it, but because it's it's black acrylic, it doesn't work. You you've really got to make your own eraser because that is supposed to rub off it's not coming off so it's like you need this to just kind of grab it whoopsie now that's why I had a mistake yesterday whoopsie so I shouldn't have rubbed there just be gentle because I dropped a a complete blob of masking fluid and because it was a wet blob it in, just disintegrated into the paper so I've just got to be that little bit careful there um, and I'm going to paint over that it'll be fine Nearly done. I wouldn't be able to do many of these, but I don't have to do too much tonight, so I can probably get away with this. But it's a pretty cool effect, I have to say. You've just, as I say, you've got to make sure you get it off as quick as possible. It's a little bit when you're doing decorating and you you put your masking tape on on the walls because you want to have a neat edge for you. You know, you put your masking tape on, but then you've got to take the masking tape off as soon as you finish painting. Because if that dries and you pull it off, it will pull half your paint off with it. Same principle here. Um, but you need a little masking rubber, really. And this is... Uh, A 
I mean, kids would love to do this. Got to be a little bit careful because I did put quite a lot on there, I have to say. And you rip your page, which you obviously don't want to do. It's a pretty cool effect, I think. I'll do this page and then I'll uh, that seems to be obviously missed that bit. Oh no, it's a sword. Sorry, I didn't miss a bit. I did not miss a bit, that's good. And as long as you went methodical and did it all then all is revealed and you have a very uniform flat background and you can now do the palest colours that you like now the only thing I thought was the acrylics just might stick together um, but I don't actually think they will I'm quite impressed with that, I have to say. And just yeah, quite impressed with that. It's just this bit that I've got to kind of oh, there's a bit there. Look, I missed a bit there. So I'm going to see, right, I missed a bit there, look. I've got to kind of let that bit settle so I could rid of the black paint as well but never mind I might do that tomorrow so there's a bit of damage up there but most of it's okay um, I'm just going to try this just to save my thumb um, but if your hands work I recommend you do it the other way but I just can't physically get that that would work in theory it should do so I'm going to use this It may not work and you have to be extremely careful. What I can oh broken that one. What I thought I could do was took this No, I was thinking I could make one of these. So never mind, back to the old fingers. <laughs> Um, not the best, I have to say. Uh, I'll just, I'll just stay <coughs> for a moment and uh, I'll see what happens. kind of put a drop on there and then let it dry and make a fake
fake one. Whoopsie, I nearly did that earlier. And so that's a bit of masking fluid. Um, that's <clears throat> so you need a bit of pink. It's going to be a bit of clean, a bit of clean masking fluid. I'll just keep rubbing it up and down. It's going to come off, and you will have a lovely. Drying, there we go. So hopefully this is going to come off. And reveal whoopsie, everything underneath as it was. But with a black background. Whoa. So um It's a little bit difficult now. What's wrong with the doll? That, that would stick but maybe because it's acrylic I think if it was watercolor I think it would come off a lot easier but it's actually stuck under the acrylic which is why I wanted to get it off as soon as possible because it's not in the way then I think that's why it's taking its toll on my fingers feel um but and maybe because again i've had this for years so probably that's why it's not a good idea maybe to leave it on and again it is over acrylic i don't think i've ever done it over acrylic before i think you do it over watercolors but i've done it over acrylics and quite thick acrylics as well it's not thick acrylics so i think that's why i don't apologize but it's now going out to time it's now not feeding time, it's now going out time. At the zoo! Oopsie. Uh, this probably is not a good idea to do. <laughs> Never mind. It was an experiment that works. I won't be doing it again. Obvious reasons. We should just have to see if I can paint tomorrow because the chances are I probably won't be able to move. Uh, but I'm quite impressed how it turned out. It's how I, I thought it would turn out. Um, the masking fluid is quite old. And the acrylic paint is quite old, so uh, everything considered, I think it turned out extremely well. I can just maybe feel that there's maybe a little bit of something somewhere that I could do 
need an extra rub. Now that's the really squishy stuff making its mark and taking off all of it. So there we have some pretty cool and I'll just put that on and so I can show just how cool that is. So sorry I keep knocking the camera. So that's a pretty cool spider. If it'll just focus and stop being really naughty. And that one again, that's the same. And it's going out time, so it could be quite barky. So I just thought I'd show if you get it off straight away, that's what you get. So that's end of part two. Thank you for watching.